The crypto bull market will begin next year. Get your bags ready. At least that's what uh, everybody says out there. Understandably, this is expected like so because uh, the reward given to miners on the Bitcoin network will be cut in half in an event called the Bitcoin halving. And historically, this has always led to highly sustained price increases of cryptocurrencies. So today we are going to explore what this event actually is and uh, how it can possibly affect the price of BTC and altcoins. Hello and welcome back to Understanding Crypto, where we decipher crypto in the easiest way possible on the internet. Here we do stuff like technical analysis, tutorials and research to help guide you through this crazy world of coins and tokens. If that's the type of content you find interesting, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so that you don't get to miss any other value packed video. When a miner on the Bitcoin network mines a new block, he gets a reward. That reward is in BTC. So he gets rewarded in BTC. This reward is called block reward. At the start of the blockchain, this block reward was 50 BTC per block. So if you only mined one block, you get 50 Bitcoins. The blockchain was programmed to have a halving cycle which is what we experience every four years. And we will come to that. The first halving occurred in 2012 when this block reward went from 50 BTC per block to 25 BTC per block. The second halving occurred in 2016 when this reward went from 25 BTC per block to 12.5 BTC per block. The third and the last halving or say the most recent halving occurred in 2020 when we saw this reward reduced from 12 BTC per block to 6.25 BTC per block. The reason why you would notice a four-year pattern here is because the network is programmed to halve minor block rewards every 210,000 blocks. Assuming that you watched my video on crypto network speeds, which I will leave the link up there and uh, in the description of this video, you would know that the target block time of the Bitcoin network is approximately 10 minutes, which means it would take about four years to mine 210,000 blocks. This is where the four year Bitcoin halving comes from. It simply depends on the Bitcoin network mining 210,000 blocks. And that explains why it's not an exact date because it's unknown how long it will take for miners to mine this number of blocks. The purpose for this halving is to reduce the amount of new BTC coming into circulation, which means BTC will only get more scarce over time. This can be compared to other store of value assets like gold that aren't really limited in supply. New gold deposits are discovered every day both on Earth and in space. And there is no limit to how much gold you can introduce into circulation. I met a guy uh, some time ago from Sudan. His name was, uh, his name is Mustafa, who told me that in their community, they live off of finding gold. They wake up in the morning, go find gold, dig it up and come to sell it. You can find as much as possible and sell. And new deposits are just being discovered over the years. This isn't the same for Bitcoin. There's only ever going to be 21 million BTC to ever exist. According to blockchain analytics analysis, about 3.79 million BTC is already lost forever. And over the years, the amount of BTC that can be introduced into circulation is just getting smaller. So the scarcity mechanism here is actually perfect for a store of value asset. The next Bitcoin halving is expected to be in about 188 days as of the time of making this uh, video. This has everyone in the crypto space excited for the bull market because, well, after the past halvings, we saw crazy price increases. If you bought Bitcoin on the day of the halving in 2012 and rode your holdings to the all-time high in 2013, you would have made a mind-boggling 94 times your money. So, if you invested $1,000 on the day of the halving in 2012 until the all-time high 
you would have made $94,000. So your $1,000 investment will become $94,000. Just staggering to even imagine. From the 2016 halving, if you bought Mr. BTC, you would have made a 29x return on your investment. And from the 2020 halving, you would have made about a 7x return on your investment if you held it to the all-time high. That's like turning $10,000 into $70,000 in less than two years. The most apparent reason why Bitcoin's price tends to increase after the halving is the reduced rate at which new Bitcoins are being introduced into the markets. As simple economics would suggest, a reduced supply with constant or increasing demand means an increase in price. It's important to understand that in this case, it's not really the total supply that is being reduced, but the rate at which new Bitcoins come into the markets. Speaking about markets, you remember that we said Bitcoins are rewarded to miners, right? Well, they need to sell some of these BTC to cover for things like electricity, salaries, and um, even just maintaining their mining businesses. This means we have a certain category of people whose business model is basically to get rewarded in BTC and sell it for fiat. So reducing the rate at which this category of people get this BTC can impact the price of BTC because, well, they are getting less BTC to sell per day. As of now, about 144 blocks are mined on the Bitcoin network every day. Since we have 6.25 BTC rewarded to miners per block, this therefore means that 900 BTCs are rewarded to miners every single day. Now, just for comparison, as of the last cycle, 1,800 BTCs were rewarded to miners per day. This could actually explain why Bitcoin's hash rate has been in an absolute bull market in this bear market, hash rate simply refers to the computational power needed to mine BTC. More participants are getting into mining now because they know that uh, by next year, the amount of BTC rewarded to miners will be cut in half. So it's just better to mine now and get more BTC. That way they can sell for more fiat later. We could sit here and just assume like everyone else that the Bitcoin halving is the principal reason behind price increases but that would be uh, lazy the truth about the matter is the halving has always served as more fuel to an already existing fire so what on earth am i talking about i'm talking about the fact that bitcoin has only existed in a stock market bull market crypto as we know it has never seen the financial markets collapse so each halving only reduced the inflation rate of an asset that is benefiting from the overall good economic conditions. If you watched my video on the debt ceiling, you will know that in the past decade, the markets have been in the best conditions possible for assets to appreciate in value. We had things like close to zero interest rates and our Fed friends printing money like no other time in history. All these things are good for risky assets. This time around, we have the fuel, but the fire is unfortunately gone. The link to my uh, debt ceiling video will be in the description of this uh, video. If we look at the past halvings, we will notice a very clear pattern, and it would be stupid that we do not mention that here. And by the way, these are things you will not hear on regular media. I mean, I am just one of the very few people that tell you the truth here. I just tell you as it is. I'm not here to tell you that we're going to $100,000 or $500,000. I'm just going to give you straight up clean data. If we look at the past three halvings, we will notice a very clear pattern that shows us diminishing returns on BTC post halving. From the first halving to the all time high, BTC returned 9,400%. From the second halving to the all-time high, BTC returned 2,900%.
And from the last halving to the all-time high, Mr. BTC returned 700%. Now, I am not Einstein, but I see about a 3.5x reduction in percentage increase here post each halving. So, if the trend was to continue in this same unfortunate lineup, there's a good chance that we only go up about 200% from the 2024 halving to the next all-time high. The key word to note here is if the trend was to continue because we have seen three halvings with a very clear trend. This can serve as a strong reminder of what is to come while the majority of crypto investors talk about Bitcoin going to $100,000. Speaking of the next all-time high, in my next uh, YouTube video, we will talk about what the alternative will be if my forecast for Bitcoin going to $3,000 does not happen. What could be the alternative of that? What's the bull scenario? Because you're always looking at two sides, yeah? Before you cross the road, you must look the two sides. Even if it is a one-way street, you must look at the two sides. So we are going to cover what the other side of the equation is in this equation. What would be the upside target in case Bitcoin just goes straight up instead? It is by no doubt that the halving is a good mechanism for Bitcoin's uh, BTC. While many other cryptocurrencies come and die, Bitcoin is perfectly engineered to have a narrative every four years. And we know how extremely important narratives are for price appreciation in cryptocurrency. The reduction in the supply of newly minted BTC effectively gives older BTC more value as simply less is being introduced into circulation. This reduces BTC's annual inflation rate over the years, which is again good for BTC's price. Altcoins, which are alternative coins to BTC, are all measured in BTC terms. And since BTC will be valued more, it will also translate into a higher dollar value for all altcoins that have a BTC trading pair. I will leave my video on the Bitcoin effect in the description of this video for you. It is a fundamentally good thing actually, but the only thing is fundamentals are more long term. So it is most likely to take some time after the halving for us to see the effects of the halving on BTC's price. We don't have to be expecting that the day after the halving we see prices skyrocket. In the next video, we will navigate into the charts to find out what the price of BTC could be on the day of the halving. The price of BTC on the day of the halving, the next halving, is very important because from there we could potentially denote what BTC's next all-time high price might be. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.